Hi folks, I am solving Lead Code's top 150 questions and that's all you need for your coding interviews. So in this video, we'll be solving 647 palindromic substring. We are given a string S and we have to return the number of palindromic substrings in this. First of all, what is palindrome? Palindrome is the string. If you reverse it, it will see. So if you see this example, AAA, if you reverse it, it still be AAA. So this is a palindrome and an individual character is also a palindrome and we have to return the number of substring in the given string. So let's try to understand this by an example. If you see this example here, a brute force approach to solve this could be if we start here, we'll go one by one and we'll check and update our result. We'll go to pretty much every character and then we will check if it's a palindrome or not. And once we are done here, then we will again start from this character and then again here. So this operation is n square plus to check if it's a palindrome, we need additional n times. So that makes a brute force solution as n q. We can do better than this. We can use two pointers. So let's just say when we are here, the left and right will be here. This is our result. It's one now because this is a palindrome. Then we will move our right to this and left to this. This goes out of bounds, so we move our left and right to this A. Now we update this from 1 to 2, another one, and then we will move our left and right. So we found one more, it is 3. And then we again move this, again, not a palindrome, we move our left and right back to this. So again, it's it's 4 now. And again, if we move this towards these two, it will be not a palindrome. So this is C, our result will be 5 because C is a palindrome now. But if you see, there are still palindrome left. For example, these two are palindrome and these two are palindrome. And this is because we only considered odd length as of now. We can start by considering two elements. Left will be this one, right will be this one. So now the total palindromes are six. Then we move our these two to here. And then again, this is one more. So seven palindrome. So our final thing is seven. And this is what we will return. Since we are iterating through the array ones, it will be O of n operation. And then checking the palindrome using two pointers is again a n operation. So this gives us at n square time complexity. So now let's look at the code on how we can solve this. We can start by defining our risk variable. Now let's iterate through our string. Now for odd cases, we will define our left as i and right also as i. While out of bound cases and if characters are equal, then then we will increment our result and move the pointer l minus minus and r plus plus. Similarly, for even cases, we'll keep left as i, but r as i plus one. And we can use this same while loop here as well. And this is pretty much it. We need to finally return our list. So let's try to run this. Yep, it does work. Now let me try to submit this. Yep, this works. I hope you found this video helpful. If yes, you can consider subscribing to this channel. I post these revision videos daily. And thank you so much for watching.